Hi there, this is Srikant Sari. So in this lesson, uh, we are going to introduce ourselves to uh, C programming. Okay. So this is the hundredth video uh, in uh, my YouTube channel, which is uh, the Sari Tools. Okay. So if you go to Chrome and have a look at the channel once. So if you type it uh, Sari Tools in your uh, Google.com page. Okay. So you get the very first link here, so which takes you to the channel. Okay. So if you just sign in with my uh, credentials, uh, so and go to the video manager option here. Okay. So just to show you, so I have done with uh, so far with 99 videos here, <clears throat> and this is the hundredth video. So by the time you uh, uh, watch it, uh, this count goes to 100 uh, 100 videos here. Okay. So if you go back to the channel's home page once again, so you get. Uh, the whole lot of uh, uh, courses on all programming languages like uh, C, C++, Java, MySQL, HTML, PHP, and C Sharp, and so on and so forth. Okay, so I request you to uh, subscribe to this channel. So currently it has uh, 73 subscribers, which is very very low, and it has got over uh, 10,000 plus views here. Okay, so uh, so here we are uh, in this video. Uh, tutorial uh, we are going to introduce ourselves to the uh, C programming uh, language okay uh, so I have already made a series in uh, C programming language uh, long back okay so it consists of uh, overall uh, 100 videos hi guys this is chicken okay it's, it's starting playing okay it has got more than a thousand views okay so here uh, my intention is to make a fresh start uh, C programming course okay this series consists of all more than 50 videos here and my uh, intention is to uh, make a new uh, fresh start uh, fresh uh, programming uh, course on C programming language uh, using the NCC standards here okay so NCC is a standardized uh, version of C programming language uh, they started to standardize uh, C programming language uh, back in the year 1989 and 19, uh, 1990 okay so both are uh, referred interchangeably uh, and later the NC committee uh, has standardized the language in 1999 also once again and then in uh, 2011 the most recent uh, standard has been uh, released for C programming language okay so before starting uh, uh, coding in NCC standard uh, in C programming language so first we need to have a tool uh, known as IDE so the IDE here I am using is a Visual Studio Express for uh, Windows Desktop 2013. So if you type like this in Google, so Visual Studio Express for 2013. Okay. So if you press enter, so it takes you to the very first link, uh, which is visualstudio.com website. And if you click on uh, download option there, okay. So if you click on the download option. So it takes you to the uh, downloads page or else you can click on the downloads visual studio downloads okay so here you have uh, the whole lot of options uh, so we are uh, so we need express version because it is very free it's free and very lightweight also okay so rather than when compared to the original visual studio uh, enterprise or professional editions okay so express editions are very uh, uh, free lightweight and uh, uh, it's meant uh, it's designed they are designed for hobbyists and uh, 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 programmers uh, who are uh, uh, getting uh, just getting used to, uh, uh, to huge tools like IDs and all okay so here if this is the one we are going to use so I suggest you to download this one by clicking on this DVD ISO image okay so another option to download uh, this uh, wonderful ID from Microsoft okay from Microsoft and uh, also you can go to this website which is hanselman.com okay so there you find uh, <coughs> links to all uh, the recent versions of visual studio express like for expression uh, express for web for windows and for windows desktop okay so windows store and windows desktop so if you click on this uh, iso image and you can download the dvd and you can install the id in your uh, computer system okay so already have downloaded and installed that uh, ID Visual Studio 2013 Express for Windows Desktop. So let me launch that one. Okay, <coughs> it takes a time, a moment. 
So here, uh, in order to start uh, programming, so first we need to create a new project here. So click File New Project and empty. Uh, select the General tab and under the Visual C++. Okay. So Visual C++ is the Microsoft implementation for C++ programming language. So which is a superset uh, for C language. Okay. So which means in a simple way that uh, so whatever the valid C program is a valid C++ program. So you can happily program all your uh, C code, uh, run them uh, inside a Visual C++ environment here. Okay. So select that Visual C++ tab and under that you select the general option and go to the empty project here. So let's name our project as to keep it simple, hello world. Okay. So whatever you wanted. So it says that already some project exists under the name. It's okay. <laughs> so let's say NC, hello world. And CC hello world okay so whatever you wanted you can name your project and select the empty tab and name uh, give some name to your project and click okay here okay <clears throat> so visual studio uh, express edition uh, creates an empty folder structure for you like external dependencies header files resource files and source files here okay so uh, in the source files folder uh, we need to create a new project here uh, sorry new uh, file so add new item so that's going to be our, uh, if you select the code file and uh, let's say that uh, hello world.c, hello world.c here, okay. So hello world.c. So whatever you wanted, you can name uh, uh, the very basic uh, C file, okay. So th that creates a, a blank uh, .c file in your uh, uh, source files uh, section here, okay. So before starting uh, 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 to write program, so we need to set some properties. To do that, uh, let's go to project and ANCC. This is the, this is the name of our uh, project here, ANCC Hello World. Okay, so go to that properties in the configuration properties and uh, C and C++ and go to advanced tab here. And let's uh, since we are intended to do uh, C programming here, so let's say it has uh, compile this as C code. Okay, and we need to di disable uh, one specific uh, warning which is going to arise, which is four nine nine six here. Okay, so click apply and okay so now uh, let's go to full screen by pressing shift alt and enter okay again shift alt and enter will take you to the normal uh, screen or also you can do this by going view and full screen here okay the very first basic lines uh, in, C in any C program are going to be the header files here okay so we need to add uh, the header files with reference to the library functions uh, we are going to use here, here okay so the two main important header files uh, we are going to use are uh, hash include stdo.h and hash include conio.h here okay so header files uh, will replace the all the standard library functions whatever uh, written and compiled uh, in the form of prototypes in those header files uh, in our, you know inside our compiler but will be uh, will be included automatically when we add them here okay so let's have a comment here okay let's say visual studio automatically adds a lot of stuff for us and cc hello world <coughs> demo okay I'm having a comment uh, starting from C++ 11, uh, so, sorry, C11 standard. We can also not only uh, we can use uh, this kind of comment, okay? So comments are the one which was used as a descriptive statements. Uh, this does not include uh, in normal program and the compiler ignores uh, whatever you write in the form of comments here, okay? The comments can be of two types. What is a single line comment, okay? So this is a single line comment, uh, sorry, multi-line comment. And we can also have a single line comment. Uh, which were added in uh, and, uh, CPP 11 or uh, C11 standard. So it is going to be like this. So you can say header files. Okay. So you can comment your code in uh, uh, two different ways. Uh, one is uh, using a multi line, that means uh, you can have uh, multiple uh, lines of uh, uh, statements in the form of comments here using this uh, star slash, slash star, and uh, uh, star slash. And also you can have a single line comments uh, which is using a double slash here okay so header file section which is a very very uh, basic thing so next we have uh, main so main in c and c c standard goes like this uh, you have uh, int which is a uh, so we we'll learn about in detail what is an int uh, which is uh, by that time you you take that it, it as a written type here okay so starting from the nc c standard uh, we need to explicitly uh, mention the written type as int here 
okay so main is the function uh, which consists of the uh, can take the definition of uh, definition of something like this um, every c program uh, consists of a, a function which is at least one function which is known as the main function okay so the main is considered as uh, the entry point for execution so even though you write uh, 10000 lines of code uh, you need some uh, entry point uh, so you need some point where the execution of the entire program starts so, so here in our case in c language or c++ or any other uh, or any other strictly typed compiled kind of languages the main is going to be the entry point okay in them okay so let's write so let us write a very basic uh, uh, statement uh, to put to print some output to our standard output here okay so to do for that purpose we are using a printf function which is defined un, under the studio.h uh, header file here okay so printf function let's say hello world let's put some message here in so hello world slash n okay so slash n is again a formatted uh, uh, a string okay so you can use this slash n uh, character uh, to redirect or output into a new line here okay so slash t is also uh, used uh, to have some space a uh, tab space okay when, the, when we run the program you get the better idea here okay and every c program statement must end with a semicolon here okay so if you don't end our uh, uh, c program statement with a semicolon uh, it will it's gonna throw you an error uh, nasty errors you know and so on and so forth okay so the one last statement uh, in our very basic C program is going to be the getch. So getch is a function which takes uh, an input uh, in the form of a character from standard input which is keyboard and does not print that in the output screen here. Okay, The purpose we are adding this one uh, to make the output uh, constant or standard until, we, until the user press any uh, input uh, character from the standard input. Okay. So this is the very basic uh, C program. So let's uh, add a few more comments also here about the printf statement. So print the text to the standard standard output. Okay, so which is monitor in our case. So get ch. So is a function function which accepts okay this is a function which accepts a keyword which accepts any character as a as an input any character as an input from keyboard okay and does not And does not print it on the screen okay so to run this program uh, on visual studio uh, id which we, are, which we are going to use here okay so if you there are a lot of many ways let's come back to from full screen mode to normal mode here okay so you can press this uh, green triangle button which automatically runs your program if you if it successfully compiles and gives you the output okay so output is hello world here okay so that's because uh, we have just uh, using the printf function uh, we have just outputted uh, the very basic uh, text here okay so which is hello world here okay so apart from that uh, you can also press f5 from the keyboard it automatically runs your program and also you can use you can press control f5 okay so there are a lot of different ways to compile your code and if you are in also in full screen, uh, you don't see that uh, triangle button uh, when you are in normal mode here. Okay, so in that case, you can press F5 directly, uh, which gives, which runs, which compiles and executes uh, your C program and gives you the output. Okay, in the DOS prompt. Okay, so this is the DOS prompt window. Since it's an empty project, you can take it as a console application. <coughs> the, all the output for the output for the console applications will be seen in the DOS uh, prompt here. Okay. So if you want to uh, make your output output uh, a bit more uh, 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 viewable, okay, so you can increase the font size. To do that, uh, right click on the DOS window, a command window here and go to properties 
and select the font option here and, and, let, and select the consoles consoles font and make it as 36 here okay so with that uh, your output will be uh, the font size will be changed and it will be a lot bigger and also you can uh, change the colors such that it looks more appealing here all these things are not mandatory uh, just because it improves the aesthetics okay see now how beautiful it looks here okay so now also you can also have uh, another print of statement let's do that so printf slash and slash t so hello world from c programming in visual studio so whatever you wanted you can have a message here okay so if you run this program once again uh, using the here problem here okay i haven't end the semicolon okay so you forget to end your printf statement or any c statement without a semicolon so automatically it's gonna throw you an error here okay so it's not it's not going to compile and execute so what it shows you an error okay the statement is missing semicolon here okay syntax error missing semicolon so you need to end your statement with a semicolon so everything is perfect without any uh, red lines here so now if you run your program so you get the output the other output of what we have seen here uh, in the form of uh, it's a hello world from c programming in visual studio here okay so the reason because it's coming in the next line uh, not in the very uh, first line because uh, so we have you make use of this format formatting uh, strings or format specifiers like uh, slash n and slash t so if you if you get rid of all those things and if you give the text directly so it's not going to uh, even though it prints on the uh, next line because uh, we have used a slash in at the very end of our uh, statement which is very uh, which is also a good practice okay so instead of doing that uh, you can add directly here such that your output uh, looks very appealing on a new line and new uh, new text okay so in this way uh, you can end your C program so to, to summarize once again what we have done here uh, we have taken a, a, a we have created a new project of the name uh, so to go back to your uh, solution explorer ancc hello world and we have taken a dot c hello world dot c file and then we have uh, written a very tiny little small uh, c program here okay so here our uh, header files are the very uh, basic statements which were uh, needed to be included at the very beginning of any c program here so header files uh, so if you want to uh, make a reference okay so here we have used the printf statement and get ch okay so printf statement falls under the category of uh, studio.h header file and get ch function uh, falls under the conevo.h uh, header file okay so all these functions library functions which were predefined were included on that particular header file so whenever you are going to make a reference of them in your program so you need to add them okay so and then we have written a main statement uh, which is the entry point for the execution of any uh, statement here okay and then we have uh, make use of printf statement and we have uh, uh, kept the output in the standard output screen here okay so this is the basic stuff uh, about the main uh, about the very introductory hello world program using the ncc standard in visual studio compiler okay so see you in the next lesson goodbye